Oh, hey, you're here too, huh? I guess I didn't expect anything different. We've got a lot of tests to study for this week, after all. I swear the teachers planned this or something. Giving so much stuff to do in just one week, it's honestly exhausting. I don't believe some absolutely can make the tests any later. It's a giant mess. Anyways, mind if I study with you? We have the same history class after all. How about we study that together? If you don't mind that is. Good. I was half expecting you turn down the offer and I'd have to go find a seat somewhere else. Which we both know is impossible in our school's library at this hour. What? I wasn't wrong for thinking that. Remember when you turned me down during lunch last week? I ate lunch outside because I couldn't find a table. So, I have every right to expect you turning me down in these kinds of situations. <laughs> Anyways, how has your week been? Hmm, so pretty much the same as mine. Studying until late at night, having dinner at 1am followed by sleeping in a little too late. I guess we aren't that different after all. Hmm, what is it? You forgot your history book? Um, go I so you don't have any books with you. What were you planning to do or without any? Sorry, sorry. When you do silly stuff like this, I can't not call you Kohai. It's strangely adorable. Oh, is there a little bush creeping onto your face? <laughs> sure, there isn't Kohai. You never admit when you're embarrassed. Here, we can just share my book. Come closer. Don't give me that look and get your mind out of the gutter. You can't see the book if you're that far from me. Just come closer, Kohai. Yes, I'm indeed going to call you that for the duration of our study session. It's your fault for not bringing any books, so see it as a punishment. Good girl. Now, let's start. I'm assuming you remember the previous chapters at least a little. That giggle says enough. I'll give you a quick rundown in a bit, okay? It's necessary to make links to previous things that happened with more recent stuff. Yeah, yeah, it sounds tough, but it's not. I promise. Spell check? Ah, uh -huh, that's right. You're dyslexic. Sure. Hand your notes for a moment.
right, it should be better now. You didn't have too many errors, so I'm proud of you. There's that blush again. You're busted. <laughs> sure, sure. I won't bring it up again. Maybe. <laughs> Anyways, we should continue studying. We haven't really gotten anywhere. But at least your nose didn't have a lot of errors. What's with that nervous chuckle? Go high. Hand me your paper again. No? Oh really? Just give it. <sighs> so the first part wasn't written by you. Well, at least it's only half of it. You're still making progress, so I'm not taking back anything. You're doing great. You dropped your eraser. Hold on, I'll get it for you. <laughs> the, that just happened, right? I, I'm so sorry, Go. I, I didn't know you were going to go for your eraser at the same time. And... and go high. So the blush was real. Finally, you admit it, you tummy. Your face is so adorable. Was that your first kiss? <laughs> Mine too. But I'm glad I was with you. I've had a crush on you for a while now. So to see this happen on accident is kind of funny. <laughs> well, this study session sure went in another direction than we both thought it would, didn't it? So, after this, I guess it's only fair if I ask this. Kohai, will you be my girlfriend? <laughs> Yay. I kind of expected you to say no. <laughs> Since we didn't get to study much, and I'm assuming both you and I can't really concentrate anymore after that, want to come over to my house tonight? Nobody is home, plus we really need to study. And, if we have some time left, we might be able to pick up where we left off. Good. Well, I'll see you at my house, go high. Be sure to bring stuff in case studying goes into the night. I'm not sending you home when it's 1 or 2 a.m. after all. And there's that cute little plush again. <laughs> I'll see you later, go high. <laughs> 